Season 3 of The Mandalorian is right around the corner, and thank the maker, because I can't wait to reunite with my homeboys Din Djarin and Grogu. When we last saw Din and Grogu, they had just helped Boba Fett on Tatooine and were setting off on a journey that would undoubtedly take them to Mandalore so that Din can hopefully absolve himself of his transgressions outlined by the creed of the Children of the Watch. So, with what looks to be a very fun and exciting season, what are three things I'm most looking forward to seeing? Let's break it down. Starting off with the thing I'm most excited to see, another Order 66 flashback. The season 3 trailer for The Mandalorian gave us a very quick glimpse of what will be another gut-wrenching flashback scene of Order 66, and in the words of Michael Scott, no question about it, I'm ready to get hurt again. As we saw in the book of Boba Fett, Luke Skywalker helped Grogu remember his time growing up at the Jedi Grand Temple on Coruscant. We then got a flashback scene of several Jedi protecting Grogu from clone troopers during Order 66, with one Jedi that even looked very much like our homeboy Sindralig, who was the battlemaster and chief of security of the Jedi Temple during the Clone Wars. During the upcoming Mandalorian season, we're probably going to learn more about Grogu's time training as a Jedi youngling at the Jedi Temple, which may give us a glimpse at some other familiar Jedi. How dope would it be to get a scene of Grogu training with Yoda? We may also learn more about who helped Grogu escape the Jedi Temple, how he evaded Vader and the Inquisitorius following Order 66, what he did during all those years prior to Din finding him on Arvala 7, and how Grogu wound up with those Nikto mercenaries on the remote desert planet. Even if we don't get to learn any of that information, seeing Order 66 from a new and different perspective, while soul crushing, is always welcomed and amazing. Without a doubt, seeing another flashback of Order 66 and learning more about Grogu's time as a Jedi youngling is the thing I'm most excited to see this season. Next up on my list are several things that I'm going to lump together as one. These are the planet Mandalore, its capital city Sundari, and more Mandalorians including Bo-Katan Kryze. In the current canon timeline, we last saw Mandalore's domed capital city of Sundari in a flashback scene in the Book of Boba Fett, when the armorer told Din about the Night of a Thousand Tears, which was the night the Empire massacred the Mandalorian people during the Great Jedi Purge of Mandalore and absolutely decimated the city of Sundari. In that show, Din informed the armorer that he had removed his helmet, to which the armorer proclaimed that unless Din bathed in the living waters of the mines of Mandalore, he was no longer a Mandalorian. The trailer for The Mandalorian gave us a brief glimpse of Din and Grogu traveling to Sundari, and we get to see the city in ruins. Din's travels to Mandalore and Sundari will see him seeking the living waters of the mines of Mandalore, which would be really cool to see. And while Din's on Mandalore, we know of at least one individual that Din will encounter while there, which is our homegirl Bo-Katan Kryze. The Season 3 trailer gave us a glimpse of Bo-Katan Kryze sitting in what looks to be the throne room of the Sindari Royal Palace, and it appears that she's not too pleased with Din, which makes sense because there's very much tension between them, or should I say that Bo-Katan is definitely harboring some resentment towards Din. When we last saw Bo-Katan in the Season 2 finale of The Mandalorian, our homegirl refused to take the Darksaber from Din after he defeated Moff Gideon in a duel and acquired the ancient Mandalorian lightsaber. In Mandalorian culture, the Darksaber was respected as a symbol of leadership for Mandalore and its people. According to Mandalorian custom, one could only obtain the Darksaber by defeating the previous owner in combat. Should they have claimed it any other way, their claim was considered illegitimate. This is relevant to Din's story because, roughly seven years before the events of the Mandalorian in 2 BBY, Bo-Katan received the Darksaber from Sabine Wren without having to duel someone to claim it, and that eventually led to Bo-Katan being shunned by her fellow Mandalorians. With Din traveling to Mandalore, his journey may be rallying Mandalorians around him as a leader of the Mandalorian people, especially considering he now wields the Darksaber. This could lead to increased hostilities towards Din from Bo-Katan, as she once acted as a leader for Mandalore during their fight against the Empire. Getting to see Din travel to Mandalore and Sundari, while also encountering Bo-Katan and other Mandalorians is something I'm extremely looking forward to. Whenever we get to see Mandalorians in live action, donning that iconic and baller armor, it's always super exciting and a ton of fun. The next thing that I'm really excited to see in The Mandalorian is more of Grogu Grogu and Din traveling the galaxy together as the two members of Clan Mudhorn. Pedro Pascal has been phenomenal as Din Djarin, and getting to see his interactions with Grogu and the genuine affection that Din has for the youngling is amazing. I can't watch the season 2 finale of The Mandalorian without bawling my eyes out. Seeing Din say goodbye to Grogu was heart-wrenching, which made their reunion in the Book of Boba Fett great. It's going to be awesome to see Din and Grogu continue to grow together, to see their bond continue to strengthen, and to see the two learn from one another. At this point, it's only a matter of time before our homie Grogu winds up with his own Mandalorian armor, and that is something I'm beyond excited for. Nevertheless, seeing Grogu and Din together is always fun, and it's something I'm really looking forward to seeing again. Aside from what I've mentioned already, I'm also really excited to see the return of my homies Grief Karga, Peli Mato, and Carson Tiva, as well as other familiar characters that we may see along the way such as Boba Fett and Cobb Vanth. Seasons 1 and 2 of The Mandalorian were both incredible, so I honestly expect nothing less from Season 3. At the bare minimum, 
Kingdom, we know that we can expect some really fun places and great characters in this upcoming season. To say that I'm excited for the return of The Mandalorian would be an understatement and thank the maker that we're now just a handful of days away from seeing our beloved Din Djarin and Grogu. But what's your thoughts on the three things I'm most excited to see during Season 3 of The Mandalorian? What are you most excited to see in this upcoming season? Let me know down in the comments. If you like this video, please help out the channel by hitting that like button and making sure you subscribe. Follow the channel on TikTok at SW Transmissions. Thanks for watching and may the Force be with you.